Please rise if you are able for the graduate procession. Please remain standing until the graduates have been seated.
Please take your seats. The procession will continue momentarily. Please rise if you are able for the academic procession.
in the toil of thinking, in the serenity of books, in the messages of prophets, the songs of poets, and wisdom of interpreters, in discoveries of continents of truth whose margins we may see, we delight in free minds and in their thinking, in the majesty of the moral order, in the faith that right will triumph, in the courage given us when we ally ourselves to truth in any form, in the privilege of being co-workers in good causes. We celebrate the unseen goals we share and serve. Let us build a world safe from war and oppression, free and satisfying, one that ultimately furnishes answers for us all. Please be seated. Graduates, friends, and family, good morning and welcome. I'm Jana Koprivnikar, Acting Associate Dean in the Faculty of Science. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the land that we're celebrating on today. Toronto is in the Dish with One Spoon territory. The Dish with One Spoon is a treaty between the Anishinaabe, Mississaugas, and Haudenosaunee that bound them to share the territory and protect the land. Subsequent Indigenous nations and peoples, Europeans, and all newcomers have been invited to this treaty in the spirit of peace, friendship, and respect. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to the graduates, their families, and friends. You're no doubt wondering how this day came so fast and yet sometimes seemed very far away, but I can reassure you taking more physics courses is not the answer. <laughs> Nonetheless, graduate day, graduation day is upon us, and the world needs your energy, knowledge, an innovative spirit now more than ever. Go out there and share the resilience and grit that you've demonstrated as part of the TMU community. Your paths will be diverse and exciting, and we hope that you'll stay in touch. Come back on campus or email and let us know how you are doing. You are now alumni and TMU's greatest ambassadors, and we wish you the best of success. To begin the special day, I introduce you to the Chancellor of Toronto Metropolitan University, Janice Bukakusa. Graduates, I am very proud and honoured to speak to you. Today is a time of very well-deserved celebration, and we share our pride in your success with everyone whose love and support has played a part in bringing you here today. You've been through a remarkable experience. You endured and navigated a pandemic and came through it achieving your ultimate objective. You succeeded by facing and overcoming unforeseen barriers. Adversity makes us stronger and wiser. Be proud of what you've achieved and never stop learning. Embrace a lifetime of personal growth. And the best way to achieve that is to cultivate your curiosity. Because embracing opportunity and new challenges will expand your horizons and bring you to places that you have never imagined. And as you navigate your career path, remember that your work is going to fill a large part of your day. The only way to make that time truly satisfying is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. And if you haven't found it yet, keep on looking, because I'm sure you'll know when you find it. And finally, wherever your journey takes you, I ask that you give back to the community, to your workplace, and to your family and friends. Be a champion for causes that make lives better. For me, those causes have been supporting the fight to conquer cancer and also advocating for accessible education for all. Whatever your cause, weave it into your life as a personal passion. On this day of special celebration, 
Let me close by offering my congratulations and best wishes on your journey. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor Fukukusa. Now, please welcome the university's president and vice chancellor, Mohamed Lashemi. Thank you very much. Welcome to our graduates, family, and friends, colleagues from across the university community and beyond. To the class of 2023, this is an important day for you, and you have our warmest congratulations. You are all graduating at a milestone moment in history. Despite the challenges brought on by the pandemic, you remained committed to your studies, kept connected to your classes, and served your community in more ways than I can mention here. Milestone also because your academic journey will be forever linked to our historic name change. What has not changed from the moment you choose to study here to the moment you crossed this stage to accept your award are our values. And when you return as alumni, you will feel right at home. Change is a continuing theme at our university, and in 2023, it holds special meaning. We are celebrating a remarkable triple anniversary this year, 75 years as an institution, 30 years as a university, and one year with our new name, Toronto Metropolitan University. You are the first class to receive your degrees with the new name. Each of these on its own is a significant milestone. Together they represent an evolution that is almost unheard, unheard of in the academic world. Reflecting on these milestones, I can safely say that the reason of our success is in this room, you. As we move forward together, I encourage you to embrace the same steadfast drive and determination that defines us at TMU. Both you and the university look ahead to a new chapter and a bright future. Future of promise and optimism, better prepared than ever to meet the challenges and opportunities ahead. To our graduates, this is your time. You have what the world is looking for, talent, energy, and new ideas. Your years here have prepared you for this moment. We are so glad that you chose this university, that you immerse yourself in our university community. I hope you are feeling grateful for each other. You have shared the university experience that forges lasting friendships, which brings us full circle. While we may find success as individuals, as a society, we depend on each other. We need loved ones, and you have thousands celebrating with you today. We need colleagues and community. In French, you know, we never say goodbye. Instead, we say au revoir, which literally means until we see you again. Enjoy your very special day and stay close to your alma mater. For together, we will shape the future. Thank you and I invite you now to enjoy a short video. Thank you. As Canada's most urban university, we represent all that it is to be metropolitan. This word has defined our identity for 75 years as we've brought some of the brightest and most creative minds together in downtown Toronto. 
From day one, our mission has been unique, to serve societal needs and prepare students for impactful careers. First as an institute of technology, and then as a rapidly growing university. Through it all, we've been shaped by metropolitan life. From the density of our landscape, to the creativity that pulses through our city, to the diversity of our community. And now, we proudly embrace it as our name. We've grown along the way, but that's only fueled our aspirations to improve lives on our campus, in our city, across the country, and around the world. Join us in celebrating 75 years as an institution, 30 years as a university, and one proud year with our new name. We are Toronto Metropolitan University, and we are honored to have you as our graduating class. I now welcome to the podium Corey Searcy, Dean and Vice Provo of the Yates School of Graduate Studies, to introduce today's honorary degree recipient. Well, thanks very much. Uh, Chancellor Fukakusa, President Lashemi, Provost Ianacito Provenzano, deans, esteemed colleagues and rep representatives who join us on stage, members of the graduating class, family members and friends, honored guests. It is my great privilege to deliver this citation for John England, upon whom Toronto Metropolitan University is conferring the degree Doctor of Science, Honoris Causa, our highest award. John England remembers the first time he went to the North. It was 1965, and he was a student at the University of Windsor, when he was unexpectedly chosen to be a field assistant on a research trip to Baffin Island. At the time, he says, he was a quasi-confused teenager. But, that trip would define his life's purpose. Baffin Island, he said, just set him free. Operating from remote camps in an area the size of Europe, John England has spent his life studying the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, the largest expanse of Arctic territory on the planet. His work has largely focused on the history of ancient ice sheets and oceans. What he sees is a region that has experienced the most dramatic climate change impacts of any part of the globe. He has chronicled thousands of years of environmental history from the ice age to the current day. It is, he has said, like watching a time-lapse movie. Unfortunately, the plot is headed in a negative direction. For example, the ice sheet off Ellesmere Island, which is at least 12,000 years old, is starting to melt. This threatens the security of millions of people and infrastructure in coastal areas around the world. Dr. England has supervised graduate students and instructed university courses on Arctic environmental change for more than 35 years. He has spoken out publicly about the precious heritage of the Canadian Arctic and the need to protect it. One of his most cherished accomplishments was to propose and successfully lobby for the establishment of Canada's northernmost national park on Ellesmere Island. The Order of Canada is just the latest in an impressive list of accolades Dr. England has received throughout his career, which also includes the Government of Canada's Northern Science Award and the Weston Family Prize for Lifetime Achievement in Northern Research. Three years ago, he was named by the Royal Canadian Geographical Society as one of Canada's 90 greatest explorers. John England, for your lifetime of dedication to researching and understanding the Canadian Arctic, and for your advocacy in protecting its heritage for future generations, we celebrate and honour you today. I would now like to call Chancellor Fukakusa, President Lashemi, and John England to the podium for the conferring of the degree. Toronto Metropolitan University, by virtue of the authority granted by the Province of Ontario under the Toronto Metropolitan University Act, has awarded the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa with all the rights and privileges attended thereon to John England.
Chancellor Bukasusa, uh, President Lashemi, and Provost Diana Chisu Provenzano, deans, esteemed colleagues, representatives as well who have joined us on the stage, members of the graduating class, your families, your friends, and honored guests. So it is really very special for me to be here today to talk to you. And I really appreciated the opening remarks, although it's captured many of the things that I hope to share with you. The very first thing I'd say is really how inspiring it is to look out at you and see the diversity, the intelligence, the enthusiasm, creativity that you all have built in the course of getting your degree. So it's a long-awaited day. It's been, I'm sure, a challenging journey in many ways for you. And that's something that all of us up here and all your families and friends want to say congratulations for that accomplishment. And I start off saying you embody an inspired statement that was written decades earlier. And it comes from the Royal Commission on Bilingualism and Biculturalism back in the 1960s. And it says, unity is not uniformity, but a harmonious association of diversity. That's a mouthful. So I'll say it again. Unity is not uniformity, but a harmonious association of diversity. And you are bringing this promise to life. And I look out and see your faces. This morning, we celebrate not just your knowledge. That's a tremendous addition that you've made through your efforts, but we also uh, celebrate and share what are you going to become. It's a degree in becoming, so you're in the process of becoming and, and building on the very deep seeds that you've planted in the course of your degrees. And ultimately, you create a community, and the community is a mosaic of gifted people. That's clearly who you are. And I wanted to emphasize community because really progress in this world, in this very challenged world, and the innovation we're going to need to deal with so many things is going to be launched out of community. So I think the emphasis on community here is so important. And as graduating science students, we have 23 subdisciplines of science that you represent. Uh, it's an enormous contribution. You're bringing many, many new perspectives, many new methodologies to bear. And you don't need to be reminded by me, but obviously, as science students, you see this tsunami of challenges that we're facing. We're facing global warming. We're looking at trying to hold the world to 1.5 degrees C above the industrial level, revolution levels that we had in the late 1800s. And many people that I know studying climate change say we're drifting towards two degrees centigrade warming. And in that space that we're all now confronting, there are just a whole variety, whole nested variety of impacts, economic, environmental, social, all crossing tipping points. All these tipping points nested in a nonlinear way. We're looking at the decline in biodiversity, the warming and acidification of oceans. We're looking at food security, loss of biodiversity, ominous and uncertain rise of sea level over the next century. Again, this could be half a meter, it could be two meters. It could displace literally hundreds of millions of people. We're talking trillions, incomprehensible amounts of money to mitigate or to correct on the impact on, on various um, structures that we have, our infrastructure. We're looking at impacts on these coastal people. We've been seeing fires all over the place, all over the North America right now. And so there's all these impacts. And then on top of that, you throw in the whole discussion about artificial intelligence, AI. How is that going to impact us? How is it going to be used? got a struggling world economy. You wake up in the morning and they tell you the interest rates have changed again. So it's easy to be overwhelmed. And so right off the bat, I wanted to say, it's not your responsibility to change everything. Obviously, we'll do it as a community, 
but you will bring your talents to bear. I think of the movie, the Star Wars movie, Empire Strikes Back. Don't know if you remember that. But Han Solo is in the spacecraft, and he's being chased by the Imperial forces. And he's got to get out of there, and he wants to get into another dimension. Sort of like I feel every morning when I haven't had a cup of coffee. But he wants to get into another dimension, so he puts the spacecraft into hyperdrive, and the stars stretch out, and everything looks good. And then suddenly the hyperdrive fails, and the whole machine goes, Mow. and Han Solo's going nowhere. And he looks at Chewie and, and Princess Leia and goes, it's not my fault. <laughs> so I think that's, in a way, you have to look at when you step out on the sidewalk in the morning. Yes, do all that you can. But we're going to have to do it not as superhumans, heroes. We're going to do it as a community. So I want to emphasize that further and go on to say that you're not just adding knowledge in getting this degree. You're becoming yourself. That's your lifelong challenge. How do I become myself? How do I bring into my life for others as an enrichment as much as I can? And sometimes life gets confusing. It can be difficult and struggling. It can be messy. And I know in the Arctic, when we get out of an aircraft in the Arctic, you're looking at the whole landscape. There are no trees. You're looking at the geology, the rocks, the landscape. Everything is like a mixed salad. 60 million years of change is standing in front of you. And I know my graduate students, undergraduate students, would be overwhelmed. And I remember saying to them, confusion, get used to it. And as we say, it's all good. So keep in mind, too, that you've really overcome the whole challenge of COVID. You've got a degree like no one else has done before. No other generation of people in post-secondary have had to learn in isolation. And online courses that have been an enormous challenge also for the faculty to deliver. So to have done that, it's really an enormous contribution Really, uh, you know, I think you should get an honorary degree for that alone. So bravo, okay? So I wanted to throw in a few things. As you go forward, there are two creatures we have to deal with in life right now that I hope that you can help alleviate. And one of them is relativism. Relativism is something that you're all familiar with now. And it's when someone obviously invokes an explanation or a truth based on nothing factual. It's just made up. Way easier than learning, as you have done. Just make it up, crack open another beer, and sit on the couch. So relativism is going to be an enormous challenge, especially with um, iChat and other, other ways of synthesizing information. We have to really depend on you to be thinking, thoughtful, grounded individuals who are going to turn around and build a caring world, a world of understanding and generosity. And we need to scrap the acrimony. The acrimony has become really pervasive, where I judge or you judge, we judge each other within a few sentences. We can't do that. We can't land up being divided by things that are actually here to unite us, things like climate change. We have to dig deeper in our ability to communicate, be compassionate. With those pitfalls aside, I would just say, keep your life full of humor. Keep your head and your heart attached. It's just absolutely critical. And don't leave your personalities on the sideline, your culture, your personalities on the sideline. And as I said, we desperately need more humor, we need more laughter, and we need to be gentle and generous with each other. All the things I've done in my own career, the honors and the accomplishments and so on, in science across the Arctic, it's really the times I've spent with colleagues and students and with the Inuit communities in the far north. It's that whole human dimension that has truly transformed 
my own science. It's elevated my science and my career to a vastly more rewarding level. So keep that in mind. You're not just this entity of knowledge of around your specialization. That's going to change. And how you interact with others is so critical. I'm going to close now with something that I'm going a bit out on a limb because I want to tell you the words to a marvelous song by Bob Dylan, who is, um, came on the scene in the 1960s. And he was somebody who came and talked about political um, and social issues, probably like no other songwriter had. Imagine the contemporary time, there were groups called like Peter, Paul, and Mary who sang Puff the Magic Dragon. He was talking about, you know, the, the lonesome death of Hattie Carroll, a woman in the southern United States who was a victim of, of racial violence. He, um, many of those themes he pursued. And one of the songs that he wrote, and some of you may know it, and I know when I say Bob Dylan, you're going to go, well, who's this guy? And I was thinking to myself, how do I communicate it? Well, he's like Drake's grandfather. Or he's like Shakespeare's great-great-grandson, about 17 generations removed. <laughs> but Dylan got the Nobel po you know, laureate, Nobel Prize for his poetry. And so the song that I think speaks to your graduation today is called All Along the Watchtower that I mentioned. And the first part, the three stanzas, and the first part kind of lays out the calamities of the modern world, struggles that we all face. And so he says, there must be some way out of here, said the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Businessmen, they drink my wine. Plowmen dig my earth. None of them along the line know what any of it is worth. So he keeps going from there. And what's wonderful about Dylan, he always takes people on the sidelines, takes people from the edges to kind of come in and resolve issues. Reuben Carter, the boxer from Toronto, um, who was imprisoned unjustly. But Dylan chooses people. He chooses the jugglers and the, cl the clowns. He, he chooses the fortune-telling lady, even the, uh, the sword swallower in the circus, he chooses these people to come through for us. And so the next stanza, he brings in the thief. And after this litany of the problems of people not understanding life, it goes, no reason to get excited. The thief, he kindly spoke. There are many here among us who feel that life is but a joke. But you and I, we've been through that. This is not our fate. So let us not talk falsely now. The hour is getting late. So it's, it's an invitation. First was almost a warning. Second's an invitation. And then he comes to the third verse, and he brings us the promise and the opportunities, and that's you. So it goes all along the watchtower. Princes kept the view. While all the soldiers came and went, their foot servants too. Outside in the distance, a wild cat did growl. Two riders were approaching. The wind began to howl. And to me, that's so foreboding, that imagery. You have these two riders coming out of a storm. You know, are they being chased? Are they fleeing? Are they bringing news, a, a warning? So in this scene, I'm not thinking of you on the wall, on the fortress wall looking out in the distance at those riders. Rather, I invite you to see yourselves as the riders. It's you who has to bring us a new message, a message we haven't heard. And hopefully we have the wisdom to listen. But you've come a very long way, and you've really brought us your own knowledge, your own interest, your own curiosity. So what I say in the end here is, using another TMU University motto, be bold. Be bold, be audacious. Share your vision. You have accomplished much, really accomplished a great deal getting here. So now be much. 
be much. You planted the seeds, grow. So congratulations, thank you, bless you. And I'll see you on the stage in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring words, Dr. England. As our graduands prepare to come forward, I will take this opportunity to request that you hold your applause until all graduates have crossed the stage. We do, however, welcome spontaneous outbursts of joy, enthusiasm, and even relief from family and friends. That's all part of your celebration. So as all graduates are celebrated equally, we ask that everyone please remain for the duration of the ceremony. I now ask to come forward and thank in advance the University Registrar, Robin Parr. Thank you. Will our graduates please rise if you're able? Chancellor Fukakusa, President Lashmi, Provost Yanachito Provenzano, honored guests, faculty members, staff, family and friends of the graduates. I have the honor and pleasure to present graduates from Toronto Metropolitan University's Faculty of Science and Yates School of Graduate Studies degree programs. Our graduates include all those who are joining us for today's ceremony, as well as those unable to attend who are graduating in absentia. I certify that each has met the academic requirements for the awards they are about to receive, and that each has been duly approved by Toronto Metropolitan University Senate. Congratulations to each of you. You can be seated. It is my honor to announce our first graduate, a Bachelor of Science Honors in Biology, is being awarded posthumously the Ikjot Tour. Accepting the award on Ikjot's behalf are his sister, Ravlene, and cousin, Jasmine. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the undergraduate degrees in the Faculty of Science. Bachelor of Science, Honors in Biology. Al Anud Abdul. Bari Abdul, with distinction. Bahar Akbar Loy Shabgahi with distinction. Gazal Atagayeva. Nancy Awadallah. Safin Aziz. Irene Baldeo. <laughs> Alia Batul. Sidra Batul. Anna Bazangea 
with distinction. Akram Berry. Uma Bhattacharya with distinction. Anamika Bose with distinction. Dennis Breslovitz with distinction. Samantha Brown. Karenza Cheng. Zakaya Chisholm. Trisha Cruzada. Kiwana Cunningham with distinction. Stephen Dang. Justin Dow. Kaya DeBock. Nicholas Dimola. Lovelene Daliwal. Amanda Dias with distinction. Samuel Dreef with distinction. Armina Fatima. Ashley Ferreira with distinction. Ethan Ferrer with distinction. Jackie Fung. Ksenia Golik with distinction. Celeste Gomez. Subeda Gulet. Kelly Hu. Kelly Jasalva. Kajitha Jayapalan with distinction. Samantha Jurawan with distinction. Asna Kalim. Sabah Khan. Yulia Kukova. William Lee. Michelle Lenartovic. Ileana Lianos. Julia Libera. Taylor Lieber with distinction. Ana Cristina Lopez. Muhammad Mirza. Bianca Navarro. Catherine Ovdi with distinction. Angel Pala. Joanna Pani. Nidhi Parik with distinction. Fedor Post. Gagan Purba with distinction. Justin Kwan. Gianpaolo Raimundo. Anuj Saili.
ايمن سليم ميلاني سكاليرا جاستن سوروتي شغايق ستافارز هارفين ساران with distinction خديجة تلكوبرا سايدا جون تان مارينا تنسك منان تانغا فلاوتا بيلاي Joshua Thanjaratnam with distinction. Pauline Thornhill with distinction. Renee Toll. Kent Trong. Caitlin Volteo. Sadia Yusufi Salma Zulek Zoe Zygotegos with distinction Bachelor of Science Honors in Biology Cooperative Program Sarek Chapagan with distinction. Zoe Cristante, with distinction. Rahima Khan. Fatima Mohammed. Foster Watson Boucher, with distinction. Bachelor of Science, Honors in Biomedical Sciences. Yasmin Abadi, with distinction. Hafsa Ahmed, with distinction. Shiza Ahmed. Tissam Ahmed, with distinction. Anahita Akbari with distinction. Rashidat Aladejana with distinction. Christina Alkamo with distinction. Hanan Ali with distinction. Heba Al Jarrah. Bara El Yasin with distinction. Tasneem Anwar Siraj with distinction. Chelsea Aruda with distinction. Rook Asefa with distinction. Diana Abebe Asfau. Sara Asuncion Mateo. Sarai Bailey with distinction, who is being congratulated on stage by their mother, Felicia Brown, from CCS. <laughs> Sophia Barish. Emily Baxter with distinction. Ashley Bentoncourt. Harlene Binning with distinction. Sarah Cabral 
with distinction. Caroline Cachero, with distinction. Bianca Caleri. Darren Chen, with distinction. Helen Chen, with distinction. Edna Cofles Galtero. Angela Costellis. Ezzat Dahi, with distinction. Himasha Danko Tuwage. Nupur Dave, with distinction. Jaypreet Dalival. Ralston Diaz, with distinction. Solmaz Ibrahimi Iranpur, with distinction. Namira Fatima, with distinction. Nishta Fernando Majuski, with distinction. Shayna Franco, with distinction. Julia Gasparian, with distinction. Patrick Gatal. Nicholas Gianfelice, with distinction. Jatea Gerbic, with distinction. Latisha Gerbic, with distinction. Nishka Gupta, with distinction. Zlata Haji Fezovic, with distinction. Jada Halls, with distinction. Janique Halls. Rohina Hamidi. Munira Hassan, with distinction. Shaila Hoffman, with distinction. Athena Indar. Sadia Islam, with distinction. Bishar Jabber, with distinction. Andri Jazeksi, with distinction. Nazih Kadura. Maral Kalajian. Sirat Kang, with distinction. Abby Karakis. Irene Ka, with distinction. Maryam Khan, with distinction. Shamal Khan, with distinction. Crystal Maris Ladores. Suha Suleiman Lalani. Kiara Lieber. Josephine Leonti, with distinction. Kate Makabali, with distinction. Golsa Makvandi, with distinction. 
Ronica McLaughlin with distinction. Alessia Mizzoni with distinction. Maryam Mohammed. Anthony Moscardelli with distinction. Nzonzila Mundele with distinction. Arathi Morali Tharan with distinction. Fatima Najarali with distinction. Thomas Nesmith with distinction. Larry Nguyen with distinction. Ranavi Nirmalin with distinction. Sara Nuri. Harry Odia with distinction. Jason Pham with distinction. Ruveda Hazel Pollat with distinction. Jidapa Pongnopa with distinction. Jirachaya Pongnopa with distinction. Colin Publo. Varsini Rajadurai. Sanjana Rajarao Nagaraj. Sara Rokni Abjari with distinction. Alessandra Rooney. Sara Sadegi with distinction. Angela Jasper Senares. Nayan Moset with distinction. Sujitharan Sridharan. Naroshan Sridharan with distinction. Martina Tersini with distinction. Alice Tamir, who is being congratulated on stage by their father, Naman Tamir, from Facilities Management and Development. <laughs> Stephen Tran, with distinction. Thanuja Vahisar. Valeria Vilalba with distinction. Marjorie Villadis with distinction. Sneha Wagjiani. Kirill Zakharov with distinction. Reta Zogai. Bachelor of Science Honors in Biomedical Sciences Cooperative Program. Sebastian Mandala. <laughs> Stephanie Mastroianni with distinction. Jaziba Rafi with distinction. Teaching Esther Tang with distinction. Bachelor of Science Honors in Chemistry. Rida Sahar Aijaz.
Ardit Ambre with distinction. Gabriel Asigbunam. Rashad Collymore with distinction. Marissa Corsino. Shahnaz Alihai. Reese Grandy with distinction. Juan Hinestroza Aragon. Habibullah Kasane. Angelo Michael Joyson. Arafa Patel. Angelica Thompson. Kathy True with distinction. Efigeni Zalota with distinction. Bachelor of Science Honors in Computer Science. Yasser Abadi with distinction. Zamakshari Abdullahad. Diego Aguirre. Mehdi Alam. Suhail Al Hakimi. Muiza Ali with distinction. Nafis Ali. Saif Alvi. Aditya Ambu Ganesan. Farhan Anwar. Ahmed Begovic with distinction. Ahmed Berkdar. David Belensky. Sebastian Ben Al Kazar. Isaiah Campbell. Alexander Castaneda with distinction. Ahmed Jengis with distinction. How you Chen. Kyle Chu Mang with distinction. Kamali Kogel. Jasjeet Singh Dillon. Gems Babesh Kumar Dolia. Manav Harsh Kumar Dora. John Dixon. Jonathan Eady with distinction. Sean Faria with distinction. Kurosh Farogzad. Alexander Farr. Satyatman Gore with distinction. Nabil Huck. Stephen Harris. James Hong. Joshua Huerto. 
Muhammad Nabil Asim Hussein with distinction. Stephanie Huynh with distinction. Fuad Ibrahim with distinction. George Simon Ilagan with distinction. Muhammadul Islam. Arnesh Jareth with distinction. Muhammad Shahir Javed with distinction. Avijit Jont. Aryaman Kartha. Simranjot Kaur. Alexander Kazakov. Fazi Khan. Sajid Rahman Khan. Hassan Khan with distinction. Abhinav Kera. Srishti Lamba. Kwang Lei with distinction. Tanshuan Lei with distinction. Ralph Litton with distinction. Chloe Maceda. Jacqueline Medley with distinction. Sabah Memon. Samir Mohammed. Yahya Mohammed with distinction. Omaid Nadi. Ali Nawabzade. Amanda Nguyen. Tuan Nguyen with distinction. Dumebi Osadebe with distinction. Deep Oza. Sakshi Padyar with distinction. Bradley Pahati. Hasyan Patel. Parth Patel. Luca Patrizio with distinction. Dre Paul and Patterson with distinction. David Pepra. Leighton Datfan with distinction. Craig Pinto with distinction. Solakshan Pierce with distinction. Jacob Raja with distinction. Manpreet Rajpal. Ayush Regmi with distinction. Malika Razakanlu with distinction. Tiago Ribeiro with distinction. Zachary Risling with distinction. Al Sagoon. Noshad Saeed. Shola Saperi Burujeni with distinction. 
Sakshi Shah with distinction. Ariba Siddiqui with distinction. Ernesto Siciliano. Deep Bupinder Singh with distinction. Shantanu Singh. Madid Srosh. Jenny Sue with distinction. Homing Tang. Money Tak. Duan Hui Tran with distinction. Perry Venetis with distinction. Huang Hai Vu with distinction. Bill Wang with distinction. Shurui Yang. Rolling Yu with distinction. Iran Zhu with distinction. Bachelor of Science Honors in Computer Science Cooperative Program. Hassan Abbasi with distinction. Faizan Ahmed with distinction. Ryan Bake, Ranak Bajaj with distinction, Stephen Berry with distinction, Marco Bozic with distinction, Carson Cass, Melchizedek Kataga with distinction. Austin Chansavang. Trevor Clark with distinction. Noah Colasso with distinction. Alton Luis Dulinen with distinction. Muhammad Hamza with distinction. Dingok Track Win with distinction. Anand Jawanda with distinction. Frankie Jiang with distinction. Syed Karim. Hamdan Khan with distinction. Jawad Khan with distinction. Muhammad Khan. Tareen Khan with distinction. Alexander Khrulov with distinction. Danny Ku with distinction. Majoth Kirakala Pratapan with distinction. Norvin Kukukates with distinction, who is being joined on stage by their father, Roy Kukukates from Computer Science. <laughs> Vanessa Landayan. Alfred Langer with distinction. Peyton Lawson with distinction. Michael Liu. Garrett Nang with distinction. Wei Liu with distinction. 
Jackie Lee with distinction. Kevin Ma with distinction. James Andrew Marino. Daniel Majabowski with distinction. Raj Mystery with distinction. Aliyah Mohammed with distinction. Felix Moreno. Calvin Mozola with distinction. Alif Munim with distinction. Natalie Ng with distinction. Mahan Panding with distinction. Himal Patel. Kirtan Patel with distinction. Parth Patel with distinction. Shivani Patel with distinction. Jilong Peng with distinction. Michael Pereira. Michelle Pham with distinction. Sayon Rajagopal with distinction. Siddharth Rawal with distinction. Darren Rupnarain. Pratarth Shah with distinction. Nika Sharifi Dariani with distinction. William Simalavong with distinction. Adam Sorrenti with distinction. Tiffany Tran with distinction. Dawson Vo with distinction. Vid Vukobratovic with distinction. Leslie Wen with distinction. Di Wei Wang with distinction. Sasha White. Adam Whittington with distinction. King Lee Yi with distinction. Jason Zhang with distinction. Bachelor of Science Honors in Financial Mathematics. Idil Abdullahi. Ethan Au with distinction. Nicholas Barrios Ruiz with distinction. Charlie D with distinction. Tejinder Daria. Karim Al Hassan. Zachary Farah. Eriolua Falayan. Jasmika Yanam. Peng Zhao Li. Qin Wen Luo. Ayman Omar with distinction. Sara Tahir.
Sachin Viswasam. Bachelor of Science Honors in Financial Mathematics Cooperative Program. Wang Chon Choi. Rianne Lee with distinction. Bachelor of Science Honors in Mathematics and its Applications. Dawood Abraham. Ala Al Akil with distinction. Saida Alizadeh. James Conley. Mahmoud Al Mogani. Lin Ha with distinction. Jillian Hernani with distinction. Cindy Kung. Jesse Lucier with distinction. Farhan Mohammed with distinction. DePaul Patel. Jordana Rambaran. Amardeep Singh. David Tran with distinction. Fanujin Udayakumar. Bachelor of Science Honors in Mathematics and its Applications Cooperative Program. Juan Liao with distinction. Martin Tadeo. Bachelor of Science Honors in Medical Physics. Aram Abrahamian. Kyle Dionisio. Chamaka Ikeke. Priya Glenn. Jialin Huang with distinction. Hansa Joghu. Sama Jubran. Achaya Kalamohan. Jalisa Leblanc. Helen Melino with distinction. Emily Nagoski. Neha Nasser with distinction. Eugene Puck. Christine Angela Santiago. Caitlin Sims with distinction. Sivanuja and Siva Gunantharan. Danny Thant. Anton Varlukin. Lingho Wong. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the graduate degrees in the Faculty of Science. Master of Science in Applied Mathematics. Yadunandan Sharma. Master of Science in Biomedical Physics. 
Zahida Garua. Simran Patar. Master of Science in Computer Science. Paul Buteau. Cassandra Fairwarn, who is being congratulated on stage by their father, Alexander Fairwarn, from Computer Science. <laughs> Farshad Keshani. Sandeep Sohal. Ryan Young. Master of Science in Molecular Science. Zainab Adamji. Eric Fries. Mackenzie Hurst. Norbert Kovacs. Nicola Piccolo. Master of Science in Physics. Uh, Natasha Hedden. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Physics. Dana Monjazebi. Doctor of Philosophy in Computer Science. Syed Raza Bashir. <laughs> Stephen Delaney. Muhammad Javed. <laughs> Kuram Khalid. Deepak Pudasaini. <laughs> Haytham Kushtum. Doctor of Philosophy in Molecular Science. Tamara Alfauri. Sadia Rahmani. Doctor of Philosophy in Physics. Fatin Basharat.
انتصار زلوم Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present candidates for the graduate degrees in the Yates School of Graduate Studies. Master of Applied Science in Environmental Applied Science and Management. Dima Bala. Morgan Everett, who is being congratulated on stage by their dad, Rick Everett, from Computer and Communication Services. <laughs> Purna Hawk. Anastasia Jagdeo. Alexis Maglalang. Simon Rauf. Paul Stecco. Christopher Tarizade. Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Applied Science and Management. Olaleken Ajibade. Salome Chagini. Madam Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of today's graduates. Hello TMU grads, I'm Jen McMillan, Vice Provost Students, and I'm so happy to share this special moment with you. Every one of you set a major goal for yourself, and today, after years of hard work and sacrifice, we honour all that you've accomplished. Your degree is a celebration of the courage it took to get you here, of the hard work and dedication you've demonstrated inside and outside of the classroom, of the breakthroughs that have helped mould you into the person you've become and of the community you found along the way. Your degree represents more than just the assignments you've completed and the exams that you've written. The student groups, the passion projects, the events and the games, they all represent the many ways you help build this community that will live on well past graduation. Whether your families, friends and supporters are near or far today, I know they are celebrating this achievement with you. You've completed something significant and great opportunities await you. As you enter this next phase of your lives, I challenge you to keep growing and using your unique voices to change the world. Never be afraid to be courageous, to be loud, and to be bold. Finally, thank you for choosing us. We're so proud that you'll forever be a part of the TMU community.
day is about celebrating how far you've come. And we'd like to take this opportunity to talk about how far you're gonna go. You have become a part of something bigger. Graduating from TMU is a major milestone. I still remember exactly how I felt when I was in your seat on this very day. I definitely had a mixture of emotions. I was just really, very really proud. At Convocation, I, I felt very prepared for my career, but like very excited, but also a little sad. Quite optimistic, nostalgic. I felt excited and I felt prepared. Walking across that stage at Convocation meant that I fulfilled personal goals, but I also fulfilled the goals of the family. And that was really important. As much as it was the end of the chapter, it was actually the start of something great. And I had so many questions, like how am I gonna make my big dreams come true? Do I have it all figured out? How am I gonna come back? So it was party time, but also hey, you got some work to do down the road. Stop thinking about it. As a member of the TMU alumni community, we are here to show you that you have a safety net. As TMU alumni, you are part of a supportive network of people who are committed to lifting each other up and helping each other grow. Today, tomorrow, and always. So just take a deep breath. Enjoy this moment. And remember, we're here to support you. And we can't wait to see what you go on to accomplish. Well, they should buy the picture frame. Buy the picture frame. The university's gold medal is awarded to one undergraduate student in each faculty and one continuous learner from the Chang School. Nominees must have demonstrated outstanding involvement within the university, their profession, or their community, and also have demonstrated academic proficiency. I'm thrilled to announce that medical physics graduate Helen Molino is the gold medal recipient for the Faculty of Science. <laughs> Helen is an exceptional student and a wonderful human being who is passionate and committed to her endeavors, and most importantly, to the people around her. Helen has excelled academically and made significant contributions throughout her academic journey. Some of these include being the founder and executive committee member of Women in Physics at TMU, co-chairing the 2021-22 Canadian Undergraduate Physics Conference hosted for the first time at TMU, and being a member of the TMU Medical Physics Course Union for several years. I invite Helen and President Lashemi forward for the presentation of this award. The Governor General's Silver Medal is awarded to three undergraduate students at the university with the highest cumulative grade point averages. Larry Nguyen, a graduate from Biomedical Sciences, is today's recipient. Over the course of his academic journey, Larry has achieved incredible academic results. Today he crosses the stage with a CGPA of 4.33. Congratulations, Larry. Would Larry and President Lashemi please come forward for the presentation of the award. Please welcome Provo and Vice President Academic, Roberta Ayanacito Provenzano. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I'm honored and privileged to be here to address the graduating class of 2023. Today marks an incredibly exciting moment in your life. Congratulations. As
As we bring today's convocation ceremony to a close, I would like us to reflect on the sacrifices and successes that have led to this moment. Take a minute to consider the challenges that you have overcome. Endless study sessions and perhaps some all-nighters dedicated to finishing that assignment or getting through some tough exams. Extracurricular activities that you had to balance with a demanding academic schedule. And all of this on top of a global pandemic that pushed and challenged you in ways that you couldn't have imagined. And consider the incredible things that you've gained along the way. Cherished memories at varsity games and campus events to reminisce about with the lifelong friends you've made. And hopefully, an appetite for learning to fuel your growth in the years ahead. During your time at TMU, you pushed the boundaries of innovation, you flexed your entrepreneurial muscles, and you championed diversity and inclusion. Without hesitation or apology, you challenged the status quo and made your mark on our community. I'm one of the many people who are very proud of you today. But I think our graduating class should give a round of applause to their family and friends and supporters. Your support has been incredibly important to each one of our graduates, and you have contributed to their success in so many different ways. Finally, I want to reinforce one very important thing. By completing your journey here, you will always be a part of the TMU family, an ever-growing group of passionate people doing remarkable work in every corner of the world. As you embark on this next phase in your journey, remember that there is no single path to success. You will define it on your own terms. And when you do, I hope that you remember to share your stories with us. I wish you a bright future filled with happiness and lifelong learning, and a beautiful rest of your day, celebrating with families and friends this momentous occasion. I just have one little thing to add today as we conclude the ceremony. I'd like to give a special thank you to Wayne Detcher, our university carol honor, who is completing his 60th year with us ringing the university's bells, or the carillon, as he calls it. So thank you to Wayne, wherever you are. Thank you very much. I would like to thank all of the staff, volunteers, and faculty here today who have make, helped make this ceremony a wonderful experience for all. Graduates and guests, once again, congratulations from everyone at the university. I hope that you continue to enjoy this very special day. I now welcome Catherine Rowan from the Office of the Dean and the Faculty of Arts to sing the national anthem. For those who are standing, please remain standing until all of our graduates have left the arena. And thank you again for celebrating with us today. <laughs> 